Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we're going to look at ways to increase our overall heal. As a full support, we are in charge of keeping our tanks and DPS alive. In my opinion, a full support is one of the most important roles in a full party. You have to be adept at multitasking and keeping an eye out for your teammates. In this video, I'll be showing you different ways to maximize our heal, from our equipment, stats and runes, to cards, enchantments, and even our pets. Without further ado, let's begin! Let's start with the build. The attribute that will affect our heal is Intelligence. Looking at the heal skill description, the amount of health restored is based on our base level and intelligence. The higher the base level and intelligence, the higher the heal. Note that our heal is not dependent on magic attack. So even if we upgrade our equipment to increase magic attack or consume food that will increase magic attack, our heal will remain unchanged. Next, let's look at the skills that will affect our heal. First off, we have to maximize our heal to obtain the most healing possible. In this clip, we can see the big difference between a level 1 heal and a max level heal. Next, maximizing blessing will also be beneficial as it will give additional 20 points for intelligence, which as just mentioned has a direct effect on increasing heal. In this clip, we can see that casting blessing did in fact increase our heal. Lastly, Meditatio will not only restore SP, but will also increase healing effects by 20% at max level. In this clip, we can see that unlocking and maxing out Meditatio did in fact increase our heal. Next, let's dive into our equipment. For our weapon, the best option to maximize our heal is across the staff because of the various bonus effects. First off, for every level of refinement, the healing effect increases by 4%. So for example, if we have a plus 10 cross staff, we'll have a whopping 40% additional heal. Next, if we upgrade it to level 4 and match it with the Holy Robe level 4 as well, we'll have a 5% healing bonus. Furthermore, if our Holy Robe is refined to plus 10, that 5% bonus will become 10%. Next for the armor, the Holy Robe does not only have a side effect with the Cross of Staff, but also increases max SP and has int plus 3. For my accessories, the Eye of the Lahan would be recommended as this gives plus 5 int and plus 5 dex. Ideally, I would like to have two of these but until I can purchase another one, my current other accessory is the Saint Necklace which gives plus 4 int. For the rest of my equipment, I have the Statue of Judgment for the SB region and the Staunch set for the cast time reduction. However, for the shoes, I do have my eyes on the crystal pumps as this will give plus 5 int. Next, let's also quickly mention a few headwear that will increase our intelligence. For the headwear accessories, you can go to your adventure book and filter based on attribute to show the various head accessories that can increase our intelligence. To name a few, we have the little tree hat which has plus 6 int. Among the items here, this one gives the most int. You can purchase this from the exchange or craft it yourself by buying the blueprint from the Glassheim Smile Assistance. Other headgear that can give plus 3 int are the crown, the tiara, Fricka's circlet, and the Pisces diadem. For the face, elven ears gives plus 2 int. While for the mouth, the chocolate donuts gives plus 1 int. And for the back, we have a few interesting ones. We have the hydra, which gives plus 8 int. The spring, which gives plus 5 int. And the Christmas bell, which gives plus 8% holy damage. Note that increasing your holy damage will also increase your heal. The Christmas bell blueprint can be obtained from the gingerbread city. However, looking at the materials, this may be more of a late game item. Alright, before we end this section on equipment, you may notice that some items may have a healing effect in the description. Notably, the rune shoes has a 20% healing effect and the staunch ring also has a 5% healing effect. However, this only applies to the heal that you receive, not the heal that you give. So these items may be more suitable for the tanks of the team. Okay, next, let's take a look at the cards that can supplement our equipment. There are a lot of useful cards for full supports, especially defense ones with special effects. 
But for this video, we'll focus on cards that can add to our intelligence. For the accessory, we have the Wormtail card that can give plus 4 int and plus 1 dex. For the shoes, the Agira card is a good option since it not only gives plus 2 int, but also plus 5 SP regen. For the headwear, we have the Ride Ward card which gives plus 5 int, the Elder Willow card which gives plus 3 int, the Carrot card which gives plus 2 int, and another option, although pricier, is the Sealed Lady White Snake card which increases the effects of Heal and Sanctuary by 10%. Next, another way to increase our heal is through enchantment. The Mora enchantment NPC can be found in Geffen. With the advanced enhancement, we have a chance to add healing increase or bonus healing to our equipment. The difference between the two is that healing increase affects the amount of heal given, while bonus healing affects the amount of heal received. Thus, for full supports, healing increase would be preferred. Alright, next, are you guys still with me? Let's jump into runes. Tackling the complete rune map may be a bit overwhelming, so to make things easier, we'll be focusing on the heal enhancing runes. I'll be highlighting a couple of runes and showing you the pathway. Note that this is just a suggestion of the runes that will benefit our heal. Along the way, if there are other runes that may interest you, feel free to of course personalize. Here I have a color-coded room map which highlights some runes that can affect our heal. The yellow circle is our starting point, the blue ones are the connecting runes, and the other colored ones are the runes of interest. In order to increase our heal, we should target holy attack runes and heal and power runes. There are also skill runes such as the lasting heal and double heal. Okay, let's start with the holy attack runes. In the color-coded rune map, it's represented by the orange circles. And this is the pathway in the actual rune map. An increase in holy attack will increase our heal. There are a couple more holy attack runes deep into the map, but these are the ones which are more easily accessible when we are first building our rune. Next, we have the heal and power runes represented by the purple circles. This will increase our heal by a certain percentage. Next, we have the Lasting Heal represented by the dark green circles. This is a passive to the heal skill that will allow the target to gain HP equal to 10% healing done every 3 seconds. This will last for 7 seconds. Note that taking multiple Lasting Heal runes will stack the duration, not the percent heal. Next, the light green circles represent the Lasting Heal and Power, which will increase healing done by Lasting Heal by 5%. Next, the red runes are the double healing runes. This is an active skill which allows us to heal another teammate with the lowest HP valid within 10 seconds. Pink runes are modifiers for the double heal which will increase the duration of double heal and increase the value of the heal. To demonstrate a double heal, here we have another party member who is being healed a certain percentage of the original heal. However, some may not prefer the double heal since this is not a passive skill. It's an active skill that should be pre-casted before healing. It then has a duration of only 10 seconds. Try it out if you like, otherwise it's pretty easy to reset and allot points elsewhere. For this rune path, I would recommend to prioritize lasting heal first. Furthermore, there are still a couple of healing enhancing runes scattered deep into the pathway. However, if you are just starting to build your runes, I wouldn't worry about those just yet. Of course, there are a ton of other interesting runes for High Priest, such as the Group Resurrection or the War Portal which will allow us to transport teammates to any marked location. In the essence of time, I'll focus on those in a separate video. Last but definitely not the least, our pets also bring in various attributes and skills. Specifically for healing, the Green Petite is a great option since its third passive ability increases the healing you give. Also, its fourth ability reduces SP costs which is great for full supports. Alright, so far we've gone pretty in-depth into the various ways we can increase our heal. We have tackled the equipment, stats, cards, enchantments, runes, and pets. 
I hope this video was helpful in learning ways to maximize our full support skill. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.